Today's topic is using Hess's law to calculate reaction enthalpy. The overall goal of this exercise is to sum the enthalpies of individual stepwise reactions to get the enthalpy of an overall reaction. Most reactions do not proceed as written. They actually have steps of individual reactions in order to get to the overall final reaction. So here we're going to see three different steps that add up to an overall reaction. The first step is as seen here, the second step, and the third step. In the interest of time, I'm not going to talk about all these chemical species, but I will say one important thing. These three stepwise reactions must add up to the overall reaction, which you see right here. So there's a couple things to take note of already. One is somehow we're going to sum these three reactions in order to get to this reaction. And the other thing is some of the chemical species that appear in the stepwise reaction are not present in the overall reaction. These are called intermediates. So now we're going to look at the strategy for how we can take three stepwise reactions and get them to add up to our overall reaction here at the bottom. So what is the strategy? Well, as noted already, the goal is to get these stepwise reactions to add up to the overall reaction. And because of Hess's law, saying the path doesn't really matter, it's just what happens overall, we can sum the enthalpies of the individual stepwise reactions to get the enthalpy of the overall reaction. However, these stepwise reactions are, in this kind of problem, not written in such a way that we can just add them up and get the overall reaction. In fact, we have to manipulate the stepwise reactions so that they will add up correctly to the overall reaction. This means all intermediates have to cancel and a few other things. So what are the kind of manipulations that we have to perform to our individual stepwise reactions? Well, we need to look at them, each one, and evaluate them, but in some cases we might have to flip one of our stepwise reactions. We might also have to multiply or divide one of our stepwise reactions by some number n. We might even have to do both at the same time to one of our individual steps. We might have to flip it and multiply it or divide it by some number. Once we do that, once we have performed these manipulations of flipping, multiplying, divided, we have to remember that then we have to change the enthalpy values of those steps depending on what we have done to them. In other words, if we flip a reaction, one of our steps, we have to change the sign. If we multiply an individual reaction by some number, we have to multiply its enthalpy by that number, and so on. Once we have uh, changed our enthalpy values appropriately and made sure that our individual reactions do in fact sum to the overall reaction, we can then sum these altered enthalpy values and get the enthalpy of the overall reaction. Okay, so we're going to go through our stepwise reactions one by one here and figure out how do we need to manipulate these. One uh, easy first step is to say, okay, if I'm looking at my first step here, what's on the reactant side and what's on the product side here and how does that relate to my overall reaction? So you might notice here that NO2 is on the product side in step one, but it's on the reactant side in the overall reaction. So we're going to need to flip this first step, but we have another problem. 
we have 2 NO2 here and 3 NO2 in our overall reaction. So we're going to do a couple things in order to address this situation. We're going to both flip reaction uh, 1 and we're going to multiply it by 3 halves. Why multiply by 3 halves? Well, if we multiply 2 and O2 by 3 halves, we get 3 and O2. So that's going to be our first step. Now, as we go on to evaluate reaction step number 2, this one's uh, a little bit easier in a way because notice that the product here is on the same side we have it also on the product of our overall reaction. So this is good news, but we notice that there's four HNO3 here and two HNO3 in the overall. So it looks like we're going to have to divide reaction two by two and leave it alone after that. We don't need to flip it or anything. Now the third step is the hardest to see of all. Why? Because we have NO and it's on the product side as it is down here. But if you go back to the first step and notice how we multiplied by three halves, this 2NO became 3NO when we multiplied it by three halves. So we do in fact need to manipulate reaction three by flipping it. And the best way to see that I think is we need to get rid of the intermediates. Now notice we have two and two in reaction two. And we actually want to get rid of it. We've already divided it by two. So it's actually become one and two. So if we flip the third reaction, we're going to be able to cancel N2 out. Let's do all the things that are listed here and see how this works out because it will work out. If we flip and multiply by three halves, reaction one, divide by two, reaction two, and flip reaction three, this gives us the following. The first reaction becomes this because we flipped and multiplied by three halves. Pause the video if you need to stop and see that to understand that. The second reaction, we divided by two. And the third reaction, we flipped. Okay, now the goal is to see if we can add these up and get back the net reaction because this is what we must have, right? So we're gonna add these and we're gonna try to cancel out all the intermediates and retain the final reactants and products with their correct stoichiometric coefficients for the final overall reaction. So what can happen here? Well, we want to keep 3NO2 in reaction one, and that's good, we're good there. We have only one NO on the product side in the overall reaction. So notice, We'll cancel 2NO from the left side, and that will leave us with 1NO up here. One thing you must understand is that if we have things on opposite sides here, they will cancel one another out to the extent possible. So the other thing that we might take note of as we go on down the line here, that N2 being on the left side here, and the right side over here is also going to cancel out. N2 cancels, that's good. 
What about oxygen? Always refer back to the overall equation. Oxygen needs to go. We have three halves here and another oxygen here, and then we have five halves over here. So this two, this is five halves on one side and five halves on the other side, will also cancel out. Water, we need that in our final e equation. HNO3, we need that in our final equation. So we have now retained all the things we need. NO2, H2O, and HNO3. And we also have one NO remaining on the product side. So if you add all this up, this does in fact give us reactants 3NO2 plus H2O yields 2HNO3 plus NO. I highly recommend rewriting this so you can see everything that's going on. Now, notice again, if we uh, multiply and flip, if we multiply this number, enthalpy, by three halves and flip it, we get a new number, plus 174. If we divide this number by two, we get minus 128. And if we flip this, we have to take the negative of it, so we get negative 183. These are the values we are summing to get the overall enthalpy of our equation. And we've done it. The overall enthalpy of this equation is negative 137 kilojoules. Now, true confessions, this is a pretty hard one. I will very likely give you something like this on the exam, but I might make it just a smidgen easier. Don't, uh, don't get carried away with that notion. You should definitely be able to understand what I have just showed you and the reasoning behind it. So go through this carefully. Make sure you understand the process. So I want to reemphasize that we have to get these individual equations to sum so that intermediates cancel and everything adds up to the overall equation. If you can't get that to work, you won't have the right answer. So that is the name of the game. It's actually kind of fun once you, you know, learn to play around with it, I think. But uh, you must get comfortable with this in order to be able to do it on an exam. And that, of course, takes practice.